Hey guys, this is John from JBR Play, and welcome to our introduction video to the Conqueror class from the Ferrana Beta. Now, just to summarize, the Conqueror is the third and final member I'll be doing. He's from the Knights faction again, and uh, he's like the big heavy tank unit you can play as. He's an absolute beast, seriously. When you see him on the screen, he's, he's gigantic. And uh, he uses a shield and a mace or a morning star, depending on the technical term. And uh, yeah, the way you play him, he's a lot slower than the other two members of the Knights faction, but he is a lot bulkier as well. So when he moves around, he can still dish out a lot of damage with that mace. And at the same time, because he's got the shield, he's got a really great, strong, solid defense too. And yeah, he's re if you're kind of if that's your play style in these kind of games is to be slow and kind of take the hits, then dish out double the damage. The Conqueror is the perfect class for you to play as. Now we're just going to show you some of his specific moves. Here you can see on the left hand side, we have the hero specific move set for the Conqueror class. So I'm just going to go through them with you now. First we have Renown. Earn more Renown by assisting or saving heroes and defending objectives to unlock your feats in a match. That's for Dominion mode by the way, so if, you're dual, if you like to do dual mode, don't worry about that one. It's not important for that, but it is important for Dominion mode. Next we have Revenge mode. Boosts damage and health. All attacks are uninterruptible. Parries and throws knock enemies down. Attacks are auto parried on activation. Revenge mode is different for every unit you play as. Doesn't matter which faction, but they all have a revenge mode, but they all do different things. Now we're on to charged attacks. The attack has two charging levels. Each charge level deals more damage. It's pretty useful. The next one we have is charge attack limits. You can't charge if you run out of stamina. Cancel the charge by pressing B. Now the reason that's important is because if you're charging at the enemy with your shield up and they sidestep you, you're completely exposed from your side. So if you don't cancel it in time, they will just stab you. So you've got to be quick. So that's a very handy ability to have. Next, we have the superior block. Blocks interrupt heavy attacks as well as light attacks. Opponent cannot chain after being blocked. That's very useful. <laughs> now we have the superior block with heavy attacks. Heavy attacks have superior block property during the startup. Use it to counterattack. That is very useful. Full block stance. Block all three guards without superior block property. Consume stamina on activation and block. Conqueror knocked off balance if a block empties stamina. That's pretty useful. Can't faint. Contrary to other heroes, the Conqueror can't perform faint maneuvers. To be honest, you don't really need that as the Conqueror though, because you're so big and tanky, you don't really need to fake attack, and you're so slow that if you're going to swing, you might as well swing for the hit. Zone attack. Zone attacks can be maintained to keep opponents at a distance. So there you go. There is a whole range of specific moves to the Conqueror class, and they're all pretty cool. So now what we're going to look at are his actual feats himself. On the right-hand side of the screen, you can now see the, uh, the Conqueror's feats. So there are four here, but you can actually change them to benefit you and how you like to play the game. So we're just going to go through them and see what each of them do. First of all, we have Speed Revive. Rapidly revive fallen teammates. It's not particularly useful in dual mode because you'll be fighting on your own, but it is very handy for modes like Dominion. So let's look at the next one. Conqueror. Capture and upgrade control zones faster. Again, that's Dominion specific, but very useful. And then finally for this one, we have Body Count. Killing soldiers grants you health and stamina. Very useful. Again, that's very Dominion specific. Let's move on to Juggernaut. So in Juggernaut, you're slowed and gain high damage reduction. So it makes you even slower, but to be honest, you're already quite slow. So it doesn't matter too much, but you can take less damage. That is important. The next one is Shield Basher. Shield based attacks now deal damage. And that's really good because for you, when you use your shield, you can use it to knock enemies back and it doesn't hurt them stunning them, but you can knock them off buildings with it. So if you're fighting near a ledge, it's quite a useful move. A lot of classes do something similar, but the fact that your shield can do damage makes it quite dangerous. And finally, we have the Fiat Lux. Throw a flash grenade that blinds enemies for a few seconds. Again, they're upping their tech here, but uh, basically anything that can stun your opponent for a few seconds is beyond useful. So that's definitely one to keep an eye out for. Next, we have the Punch Through. Deal damage on blocked attacks. Now that is useful because obviously a lot of every class has the ability to block. And because they get a slight, like a few seconds warning before you attack, they, if they're quick on a controller, they can block you. So that is going to be useful. Heal on block. Blocking regenerates your health. Again, it's self-explanatory, but that is so vital, especially in jewels and in Dominion, because if you can block them, then you can regenerate your health, which is very useful. Okay, this one I always have difficulty pronouncing. Let's go for it anyway. Pugno Mortis. Throw an explosive that deals moderate damage in an area. So there you go, basically a frag grenade in the olden days. Now let's check the last one out. Uninterruptible. Your actions can't be interrupted for a short duration. That's useful. It means if you're going in for a swing, they can't stop you, so you're still going to hurt them at least. Regenerate. Regenerate your health when out of combat. Okay, it's <laughs> pretty good. So yeah, if you're injured, just run away for a bit, get your health back up and go back in and kick more ass. And finally, we got the catapult. Call a catapult strike to deal massive damage over an area. 
very useful again if there's a big group of enemies just order that catapult to fire on in there and you'll probably just do a ton of damage and it'll probably look really cool as well so it's a win-win really uh what we're actually going to move on to now is one of the coolest features about this game which is the customization so if Rona actually has a lot of options for their customization, you can change your armor pieces, which we'll come on to in a second. But what we have here that's very useful is you can change your outfit as well. So the clothing underneath your armor, and you can change the design and the pattern to look like either of these, and you upgrade more the further you get into the game, Elite, Mythic, and Reputation. You can also do specific parts. So you can change the design on your shoulder if you want, on your chest. So if I just go for that one for the moment, for example, and then I go up to the shoulder here, I can have that different. So if I wanted that design, now I've made him look different. And I can even have a different one on the other shoulder, which is pretty cool. So let's go for that. We've got to be black and orange, because that's very cool. And you can change the color scheme if you would like to using these here. Um, what we can show you now then, this is the important part. So every class is different here. And the thing you need to remember with these is when you upgrade and change pieces of armor, if you look in the bottom right hand corner here, there are stats. So you need to make sure that you are upgrading to better suit your fighting style. I mean, you can go cosmetic if you want, but personally, I would recommend going for the ones that improve your stats. Uh, so there's the helmet. We also have some different chest options here. And as you can see, if I equip the other ones, I take a massive drop in execution, health regen, block damage, but my speed sprint goes up. But to be honest, in the Conqueror class, speed sprint's not too important, so you don't need to worry about that. And the weapon is very cool because you can upgrade your shield as this guy and his hand all over the head of the mace. So I've only got one upgrade for it, sadly, at the moment. Hopefully get more soon. And uh, I've got the handle here, as you can see. So you can change between them. And they, again, have different stats. And the shield, I've only got one again at the moment. But it's very cool. The fact you can change and customize them. And each one is different and unique. And the thing I love about the weapon the most is that you're actually building it. It's not like you just get a new mace. You're actually changing parts on it to upgrade it and make it a better weapon overall. So the customization for this game, they've really gone into a lot of detail on. You can really tell just by looking at these kind of screens here and showing just how much you can change about everything. So what we're actually going to move on to now are the emotes for the game, which is just a bit of fun, but each class has its own unique ones. Okay, so here we have the Conqueror's emotes. The first one is called Sight, and as you can see, he's pumping himself up. He's ready for a fight. He's good to go. The next one's called Floor Smash, which is what you do when your teammates die and you just can't cope and can't handle it. And one you can pay for in in-game currency is called Ball Dropped. Let's see this one. It's just a little bit of a... Oh! <laughs> we never said he was graceful. That's quite funny, actually. I like that one. And now let's look at the combat ones. So we have Chain On. Sounds like a human torch. Chain On! And then we have the Wraparound. Uh, that's not as exciting. I thought he was going to like properly swing it in the air. And then we have the last one, which you can purchase of in-game currency again, called Yes You. Oh, he's challenging someone. So those are pretty cool. So yeah, the emotes aren't really important, but the cool thing about this game is they're unique to every class. So those ones are specific for the Conqueror, which is really cool. And now we're going to look at the executions, which are really cool and again, unique to every class. Okay, so there are three executions for the Conqueror class. The first one is called Garrett. Oh, and you can see there, he's just got his mace around his neck, and he snapped it. That's quite painful. So let's look at the pop top. Oh, hit him on the head, then smack him with the shield. Oh, and there goes the head. Those are quite brutal. And then finally, we've got the one here called the Wind-Up, which you can purchase from in-game currency again. Oh, taking out his foot. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, now he has no brain. I feel like he just got Negan quite badly. But those are really cool. So again, those are unique to the Conqueror. And there are the three different ones there. So you can always choose which ones you assign to which bit. And at the end of a fight, basically, when you've hit them down to minimal health, it will give you an option. It will say either push X or Y to do this. So if you're quick and push one, that's how you'll finish them off. So those are the executions. And now what I'm going to show you is a duel where you can see the mechanics of the Conqueror and how he fights and how he works. So let's get down to it and see if we can win. All right, let's show what the Conqueror can do. This guy's got a very big pointy stick, so we've got to be careful of that because he's got the range on us. But luckily, we have a very big shield, which means we can hopefully keep him at bay until we get in close. Okay, he's done a bit of damage, but luckily not that much. So we can do that. He's going to keep on the defense. He can't afford to be hit by us because we do do a lot of damage. But we're quite slow, see, so he can get away quite easily. So if I've done that, ooh, good block on his end. We have to let our stamina recover. He's got range and speed against us, but we have defense. And defense is more important. See, look at that. And we can just swing our shield whichever direction he's attacking from. And we can get him. Oh, and then we can dish out the damage like that. 
Okay, we've got to be careful. Stamina's low. The problem with a big heavy class like this is you do burn through your stamina so quickly. Okay. Where's he going for now? Now we can block and swing. And oh, he got away. See, we do, the, sh the downside of this class is that it's lacking in speed. But some people do prefer that. So let's see what we can get. Oh, he's trying it. We are burning for our own. Oh. Okay, so it's quite a slow class. This is something um, you need to be aware of when you're fighting as a conqueror. The fact that you are a lot slower. And this guy here, the, especially a lot of the samurai faction's weapons, they are quick. So it's something you've always got to be very aware of. But again, if he can't hit you, it doesn't matter how fast he is. He's hoping for an opening for a counter-attack. It's not going to work. Oh, we got him. And I'll show you an execution. See, so that's the way you play as the Conqueror. It's a lot slower, but it's a lot more effective. If you can just keep taking the hits, taking the hits, and then just keep smacking him back, it's not as exciting as a fast-paced class, in my opinion, but it works. So there we go. That's the big, beasty, tanky Conqueror for you. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I also really hope you found it useful. If you did, please give us a like. We'd also really appreciate it if we could get a subscribe from you guys. That'd be brilliant. And again, thank you so much for watching, and until then, I'll see you next time.